Hello and welcome to the Runlet Baldacci Report. It's going to be my new show and Rob's new show on this station. I've been away for a few months uh, battling uh, the big C word, but I'm so pleased to be back. I want to thank all the people that sent me cars and letters and visited and texts and so on and so forth. I can't thank you enough for that. And I can't thank this station enough for uh, doing a, uh, an award ceremony for me just a few nights ago where uh, my buddies uh, that are here today uh, spoke on my behalf. Uh, it was such a great evening. But I want to begin by uh, introducing my co-host Rob Baldacci. His political experience was serving as a, uh, the brother and close advisor to one of the greatest governors in the history of the state of Maine, in my humble opinion, very, very Rob Baldacci. Uh, John Baldacci, excuse me. And then to my right is my uh, beloved law partner, Ken Altshula, who is considered to be one of the uh, finest political analysts, both in the state and in the country. He's on national TV programs, and he's on state TV programs, and he has his own uh, a podcast. And last but absolutely not least, uh, we could not get Donald Trump, but we have uh, the next best thing. We have David Jones, who's the owner of F.O. Bailey, which, by the way, is over 200 years old and one of the oldest uh, 75 uh, companies in the country. Uh, David is uh, very well versed in politics and is a huge Trump supporter. David, welcome uh, on this show. I appreciate you having yeah. me here. It's, being amongst this crowd is just a real honor. <laughs> the, to the right of me. Uh, to the right. He wanted to be to the front. I wanted right. to make sure I sat all the way on the right. If we had to go far right, we'd have to put you outside the studio, David. That's fine. But I want to uh, open with uh, the first question that will define uh, your presence uh, tonight. Uh, uh, the election, uh, 2020. Was it stolen? Was it rigged? And if so, by what brilliant uh, crime-committing Democrat did it? I don't think the election was stolen, all right? I think that the, with the circumstances surrounding the election were not normal. I don't like this new way of voting. I think we should have ballots that we can physically count, and that way there's no question. But it is what it is. Joe Biden was elected president of the United States, and once he's sworn in, there's nothing you can do about it. How anyway. refreshing. I know. It's How, very, uh, we could we could end the now, show. Can you can you can you tell Donald Trump that? Yeah. yeah exactly. Look, you know, Although he's riding the wave of the false election to a new nomination. Well, you know, you can say that as much as you want, but I, you know, I've had the pleasure of meeting Trump, and uh, he's a very smart guy. He's not like you know, he's one of these guys in public. He's one person, and in private, he's another. And but it, you know, his ideas, I, I think, are refreshing. I am a, a big advocate for reducing the size of government. I think. To what? Yeah. To about twenty percent, right? To about twenty percent of what it is what today. What are you going to cut out? What are you going to? Seventy-five percent are you cutting out? Why is it that we need so much government in our lives? But here's, here's do you need them I, to decide for you, Ken, what, what you can do right, right and what's right and wrong for by you? By the way, I know I met Donald Trump. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a brilliant populist. He he rode the wave of fear to the election, which he did. He made Middle America sit back and say, oh, my God, well, I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose. I'm losing everything to the immigrants that have come to the country and taking over and stuff. He's brilliant. Yeah, he was a brilliant. Well, he woke to I think he used your playbook on the, against you is what he did, because all, all through the election, I watched that first. I was I spent a lot of time, mm -hmm. you know, uh, on the Trump campaign when he was campaigning here in Maine. I created a super PAC, the first one ever created in the state of Maine. It's called Making Maine Great Don't Again. Money, huh? All right. Okay. And we, we we did what we could do to help uh, Donald Trump win the state. We came very did close. Did you any of the hush money that you gave? Uh, we don't, we, we don't see now. Yeah, see, <laughs> that's where you guys want to go. You know, my, Wait, let me my, my, <laughs> my point about that. Here's, here's the point. Uh, he, he used fear and he also was brilliant in picking off one candidate as a. So he's the only one in government that ever used fear. I mean, isn't no, that what no, they? No, isn't that what I'm, they do to that's us? That's what Joe Biden did. FDR <laughs> said the, La the, ladies the, and gentlemen, the worst well, thing, is the, the greatest threat is fear. Nothing to fear, but fear. Nothing itself. to fear, but yes, fear he itself. made Middle America <laughs> fearful. Of losing their jobs and having their white I, women I raped by welcome, welcome to the Ken Al, welcome to the Ken Alshula show. We're at an edge I think it's our show. Go ahead. I, I think first of all, this is going to be very entertaining. And I, yeah. I, and I, and I, before we get too much into it, 
uh, and I, I can already see your your uh, complexion starting to get redder and redder <laughs> as we personal. go into this. You do look a little red in the face, right? Yeah. We've yeah. only we've only started here just a few minutes, yeah. but I, right. first of all, it's great to have you back in well, the seat, thank you. and yeah. I'm yeah. honored to be. Uh, working together with you on this, well, uh, this new program. And we've got some great guests coming up. Well, your job is to get the celebrities in the now. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad you're here today. Thank you. Wow. Mm. So, uh, go ahead, Rob. First question. Terry right? asked you a simple question yeah. about uh, whether or not you thought the election was rigged. Yeah. You said, David, that uh, you believe that it was a fair and uh, free election and yeah. uh, that Joe Biden is the president, uh, duly elected. You are a Trump supporter. Trump continues to play this argument that the election was stolen. He continues to do that day in and day out. Yeah. And how can you, how, and not to, not to get into, uh, at this point, the, the fact that we had an insurrection he fired that wasn't an, that was a riot, not an insurrection. But come on, what's it the was difference? An insurrection. A big difference. No, come on. They, they stormed David, the Capitol building. They the first stormed the Capitol building. They, they stormed the Capitol building, right? It. There were people that got out of control, and no, it, it was. It was I think it was. was I think it was a. Dis, I think it was a disgraceful day for America. But Donald Trump Make no Trump mistake about it. That. He he it. Did you watch the video? Every or did you just watch the? Or you just watch the lines that they wanted you to watch on CNN or something? I watched every minute of it. Did you? Trump appointed judges finding people guilty of it. Mm. How many? Uh, That's what, what, what's the, what's your point there? What you they did was wrong. Did what it, they did was wrong. How do you right? support somebody who instigated an insurrection? Very simply, and, because and he's the only guy. Dave, he yeah. also put tremendous pressure yeah. on his vice president to do something that was totally unconstitutional. Even at the best advice, uh, that and you know you have concrete proof of that, right? He said, Mike Pence said that. Mike yeah. Pence. Have you read his book? No, I haven't read his book. Read no. his Mike book. Pence has been on record saying he, look, he was tr he's Trump's vice mm -hmm. president. Yeah. Uh, he talked to legal scholars. Yeah. The opinion was, without a doubt, that he had no right to overturn that vote. Uh, his yeah. role was yeah. purely ministerial, mm. and he did the right thing. Well, Rob, One of the few that, things that Pence that, did that was Donald right. Trump announced, Pence? Donald Trump <laughs> announced that Mike Pence had stabbed them in the back, had betrayed them by, yeah. by not halting the count of the Electoral College, and outside the Capitol, they were saying to hang, hang Mike him. Pence. If they had caught him, he'd be dead. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Did you see some of the people in the insurrection? I saw the crowd, and I looked at the crowd, and, you know, and, uh, you know, this, this was, there were instigators in the crowd, all right, that I... Are you uh, saying that uh, 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 Antifa... Uh, uh, are you I, I, there were instigators in the crowd. The, there were the FBI, FBI agents in the crowd. There was Capitol Police leading the people through the Capitol, especially the guy with his name with the, the headdress on. Yes. Yeah. They, they escorted him to the, to the pulpit, all right? So they brought him there. This walked him in. Proven right. Right. I watched the video. Not true. I watched the, the, the videos that Tucker the video. Carlson ended up with. So did they, did, did, they, did, they, did they edit? the video that I watched on TV. I'd have to see what you want. It shows him walking in with friend. this thing. Wait, right. no, hold on. Tucker Carlson, your good friend, no, okay, not, is the know, one who neighbor. took all the films from the security cameras and edited it. It yeah. showed on Fox News one uh, one police officer walking and people following him and played that into a... Well, there were a, two police officers and there were two people walking. It was edited. Walking. It was, there was absolutely one guy edited. sitting up against the well, pulpit, completely and, edited. and the other guy was escorted right up. Completely edited. All right. So clearly there's been a, there's a disagreement hurt. here. Yeah. People were hurt. Go ahead. Uh, people were hurt. Uh, so the good thing is your credibility is very strong when you say you don't believe the election was stolen, because I still run into people who say absolutely stolen. Yeah. And the, the yeah. question, 75% of all good Republicans right. yes. and the believe question, that the election was stolen. But the question stolen. I ask of them. Which is disconcerting. Uh, the, the question I ask of them, which you don't need to answer, is uh, how come all these judges uh, couldn't find any evidence? I want to move to one other thing. I want to. Uh, but they couldn't find was evidence that they could prove in the court of law. Oh, uh, no, there was. How about the. Well, isn't that where they're going to well, prove it? Well, it didn't win hold up in the court of law. How so about the Mike Pillow guy who got <laughs> five million? The, who wait, said, Kenny, what? I will, the Mike Pillow guy who said, I will pay a million dollars to anybody who can prove that the Chinese didn't get involved in the. In the well, what about election. the dossier? And the 
arbitrator found against him and said, in fact, he did. For the dossier has nothing to do with it. What's the dossier the have to do with this? This is your candidate. What's her name? Hillary, Hillary Rotten Clinton. All right. So you got, you got <laughs> well, Hillary Rotten Clinton who, ever all right, lived. who paid a million dollars. She had nothing that, to do with oh, that. She had the nothing Democrat, to do with it. Listen, so I'm not all the dossier that was created by I'm what's not, his name? Steele? I think his name was Steele. Dave, say, all right, come I, on. You, that was this allowed? Are you saying that that didn't happen? The Democrats were wrong. The, the behind it. Hillary Clinton was not. But the Democratic Party was just like the, Demo the head of the Democratic Party cheated, frankly, the senator from Vermont out of potentially getting the nomination. I'm not saying Democrats don't do things that are completely unethical, if not illegal. I don't think Hillary Clinton did that, and you guys can pick on her all you want. Mm. But certainly the Democrats, the, de the National Democratic Party, certainly did. Well, and certainly yeah. wanted Hillary to get the nomination right. and fixed it. No doubt about it. Okay. Let's, let's, but, let's, that, but Hillary's not on trial today. No, no. And, well, no, and, and, and she's not running for president. There's a pattern of, of what the other side has been doing to win elections. Right? You know, so you look at what's happened here over the years. You know, we voted. We had an election. You know, uh, Nixon, when he ran against Kennedy, he, he said, I'm done. You're going back no, no, but I'm showing there was, a, there was a battle. You had uh, Ronald Reagan, <laughs> Tip O'Neill. There was relationships there. People could work across the aisle. Yes. We didn't fight like this. We didn't right. throw at, you know, that's we a didn't good label point. people. That's, that's what bothers me. I, yeah. Look, it I, bothers I, me, too. I, and, I, and if you're any kind of a civil, level-headed person, you're going to know that you know that's just a methodology to divide us. And we're, are we all stupid that we're going to allow these people yeah. to manipulate the us? American and public, we're going to let them. Yes, the average so American voter the is an idiot. Absolutely. Well, when they're getting things, <laughs> that, because, because why? That's, that's no, what we're wrong. Wrong. Hey. Here's why. You, they vote because of it's fear, a, yeah. and voting because of fear is it's a stupid been that basis way for voting. Since days of I, I, I don't, don't think so, I, Dave. I, I, I think Trump. Trump is fear. Trump has been the epitome of a grievance-oriented politician. It's it, he was able to tap in I, I to the grievances that Absolutely. this that uh, right. the average American has had when <laughs> this country, unlike a lot of a lot of European countries. Yeah. Uh, we are a melting pot. We're, uh, we are hey, a I'm nation Italian. of immigrants. I'm, I'm Italian, I'm, Lebanese. Yeah, so you know, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> but you're, you're a child of, right? of immigrants, too. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to move uh, off the 2020 and come, come to 2024. Yeah. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, uh, we all know the po polls of just the last couple of days say that most Americans uh, want neither Biden or Trump to run. Uh, Biden just, elect, uh, just announced he's, he's running. Right. Uh, no is, one's he gonna... is he running or yeah. walking or well, crawling? Or... Yeah, okay. well, well, I mean, like, this guy's not that. Yes, David, guy is, is, David he's, he's only a few years younger man. than Trump, uh, right. older than Trump. He's but only I want to ask Donald Trump is OP, so I wouldn't it, worry it, about. It, I wouldn't think Biden's going to go first, just so right. you know. But 20, 2024, yeah. uh, does Isn't anybody it? have a chance against Trump? Does DeSantis? Primary, does no. Pence? No. Not a prayer. Not a prayer. So, in your opinion, as the, probably one of the top Republican right. strategists here in Maine. Well, I don't know about that. Well, I'm yeah. gonna, I, I, no, I think you are. Uh, your, your opinion is it's going to be Trump and Biden, isn't it? Because no one's going to run against Biden. And, they, and the Democrats are not going to allow a primary. They're not well, going to have a debate. They're not going to have a primary. They, 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 they announced announced today, today, any sitting they president. Down, they down, they, you, got, you got Robert F. Kennedy Jr. It's running. He's already polling at 15 percent. You've got other candidates are running, and they're not Nobody's going to allow a debate. They, no. if he, I mean, 15 percent out of the gate, it's not an insignificant number. Seventy-some percent of the Democrats, I think I read a poll today, that it's, do not want Biden to be the candidate. Oh, I, I, mean, think, I think it's more. I think it's... Well, I know, it's how about you, Ken? Ken, you think Biden's a good candidate? Go ahead. No, I would not want him to. Well, here's here, first of all, I agree the with The issue is going to be Biden versus yeah. Trump. So yeah. first of all, I agree would you with not vote for Biden Donald, in that Donald scenario? Trump, so Donald Trump is going to be the nominee. Uh, right. Ron DeSantis had a chance, but frankly, he does not play well. No, as he's he's yeah. going down. And frankly, I think Donald DeSantis was a little more dangerous than Donald Trump because he was able to disguise some of his personal. Totally agree. Okay. I agree. So Donald Trump will be the candidate. Right. Here's the problem with the Democrats. And would Joe Biden be my choice? No. Okay. But who would be? Who else? That's the that's the million dollar question. <laughs> right. Who else? And Joe Oprah. Biden, Oprah. And look, I I think Joe Biden is too old. He comes off way too feeble. He can't I don't walk. He he's can't not. Talk. Hey, hey, hey. See, come I on. don't agree with that. I'm sorry. I don't agree I don't, with that. But that's not the point. The point is, Joe Biden can do one thing that no other Democrat can do. 
He can say, I ran against them and I beat them. Exactly. And that's his, that's his, that is his claim to the so, nomination. I think he now, needs a little more than that. <laughs> no, no, yeah. what I'm saying is I hit out, no, I hit out in the, the basement of my home and I won an election he because yeah, things he was, was out in my he, favor. He, he well, we had COVID too, David, yeah. in yeah. all yeah. fairness. So, so, so the problem is, so you, did I. you have I, you know, a, a Pete Buttigieg, a Kamala Harris, who I really liked at the beginning. She has done a very bad job, oh in my, my opinion. Well, she's never been given a shot either. I agree, but she, her personality is, a, is not, she's like DeSantis. She's not a woman. She doesn't, she doesn't have the charm. And I, Donald Trump is a charming human being. I mean, he, people like him. I agree. Yeah, just know? ask all the 26 or 28 <laughs> women who have so, filed so, a so yeah. sexual. Any politician, you know, about all the heads that, what's his name, sniffs as he's walking around in the crowd. So, I mean, you're, you always got to throw that. This is where we go. No, no, this is where we go. We're, we're getting point. down into the no, gutter no, now. No, yeah. you, you did it, Rob. You see, this is my point, and this is why oh, I'm you're glad we're me. all here together. Yeah. You had to bring up. Whatever bimbos, you know, this guy supposedly. It's true, but he's, who cares? There's 17 are, women who have alleged uh, sexual misconduct are, are you, assault are on them. Right. Are you electing a pope? How many a president? people have accused Joe Biden of sexually assaulting well, them? Uh, uh, name one. Let's Name one. I'm not going to go there. Uh, by the way, we all know that, that, uh, that Kennedy uh, and other politicians. Sexuals. Uh, no, uh, and, and Clinton. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, what he yep. did was immoral and ethical, and he should have resigned from the presidency. Right. I have no he doubt about that. He did not have sex yeah. with that woman. But, yes, he did. <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. he did. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, wait, All right, so Derry, Derry, Derry has a question. A question, right. by the way. Kamala Harris, not popular. Pete Buttigieg looks like oh a Boy God. Scout. He would not he do does. it. You've got, uh, I, I mean, I, you probably don't like uh, Governor Whitmer from Michigan. I think she'd be no. a very good candidate. But nobody has the national exposure that Joe right. Biden is. So we're mm -hmm. stuck with these, frankly, two angry old white men. Well, wait a minute. Once again, running against Joe himself. Biden still has a record to be proud of. He's, had, uh, he's, he's actually been very successful. He's accomplished a lot in the I face agree. of uh, tremendous and partisanship, gone up David. One Really? Point. David disagrees. Go ahead and tell us right, why you give, disagree. Give me one instance of what he's accomplished. The okay, infrastructure how about the bills. bills. How, about, how about the reconstruction bills? How about, how about the government bailout? So right that now we're, what, $31 trillion dollars in debt. They're spending and money. Donald like, Trump like, authorized a $2.1 trillion. Dollar, we're $31 trillion And a $7 trillion dollar tax cut right. Right. That, that we're right. paying for, that our yeah. generation is going to be paying right. for. Forever. Our Trump. kids are going to be paying because for. Not us. It's it's not about us. It's about our kids. It's about our grandkids. I agree. Have to, and this is where it has to stop. Like it's people like us that can make a difference. We don't can sit there and throw acronyms and throw and slander the candidates and say. Can I ask you a the, the bottom. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Does morality and, eth and being ethical and moral have anything to do with who we should elect for president? I think a person should be uh, of decent moral fiber, but it's going to be awful hard Could, to get someone. Well, I mean, they're all. Barack Obama these, these, was ethical and moral. Um, do you think George W. Bush was ethical and moral? See, I think both those people were, frankly, ethical and moral. Yes, I do too. Okay. Absolutely. I think George I, I think Bush brought some okay. credibility to the so. White House. I think Barack Obama, when he was, you know, the way he handled himself, he did. Ronald Reagan, but he did. I thought was more unethical. Yep. Reagan. Ronald but, Reagan was but, good. But, Ronald, well, look, Ronald Reagan's the icon. All right? So Bill, there's no Bill, doubt about it. Clinton had sex with an intern in the in the Oval Office. And that was my daughter. Immoral. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Donald Trump, I'm sorry, president Trump or no president, right? He's assaulted right. women. He's a liar. He's a thief. Okay. He's going to be prosecuted. He's going to well, be. See, you're, 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 making, you're making assumptions. There's no I, ethics I, of I, I want to get into that because we, we could spend you're all day. Assumptions. Assumptions. We can. Okay. Okay. Going to, go ahead, there. So what I want to I want to get to the indictments. Uh, yeah. There's only one so far. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to agree with you, David. Um, uh, I know you feel this way, and mm -hmm. I've told uh, any Trump people, I think the New York indictment was absolutely a foolish. It's a part. I, it's I, a I political with, theory. I don't agree with you on that, Derry. Yeah. Go ahead and tell me why. Tell him why. First of all, Alvin Bragg, the DA, uh, initially, when he took over that office from uh, Cyrus Vance, uh, made the decision to hold off on, on the... Uh, proceeding forward with the indictments. Okay. He didn't feel there was enough evidence. Okay. Now, months later, he's he reached the point before a grand jury right. was able to deliver over 30 indictments, felony charges against Donald Trump for hush money payments tied to uh, uh, the election. And I don't think he would have done that if he didn't think he had a solid case. He's been threatened his family's been yes. threatened. Horrible. He would no, he he knew full well uh, that if he went forward with an indictment of first time in history of a, of a, a, former, a former president, president that he was going to be uh, mm. 
getting the wrath of God thrown at him. And that's exactly what's happened. I think there's a hell of a lot there, Derry. I wouldn't dismiss it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it the strongest case? I think you should have waited. I think you should have waited. I don't know. I'm in between you guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. Where are you? The misdemeanor charges were easy. The the felony charges were ludicrous. Right. Because here's the problem: criminal charges, as Derry know, you have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. We all know that. All he needs is an excuse. You got to tie it to. For the election fraud, you got to tie it into I did this for the election, right. which may be true, but all he has to say is I don't want my wife to find out about it. Right. There's your probable, there's your reasonable doubts. So, I agree with uh, the felony charges were, and, and frankly, I wish he had waited because I think the charges in Georgia are far more oh, yeah. credible and well, significant. What about the I, federal? I the federal, I think, yeah. is the biggest thing in the world. This yeah, election. but the insurrection yes. is a very tough thing to prove. Inciting yeah. a riot it, is really? very tough. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you look at the definition of inciting a riot. It's almost like, I hate to associate it with libel and slander, but the actual malice standard, which we had in the Fox News thing, that's a very high burden of proof. It's not your common, yeah, they said something wrong, and that's libel and slander. No, inciting a riot, you've got to show intention. And, you know, say what you want about Donald Trump. He didn't say, hey, everybody go storm the Capitol and kill some people and take over the government. Well, he pretty much did. No, he, he did not. He directly did. That's not and enough. And he stopped that short. That be enough. But when, Ju- when said, Giuliani says trial by fire... Yeah. That's a little different. He's a lawyer. I didn't say about Giuliani. We're going to talk about Giuliani. Now, look, you know, and I, I actually, uh, on Ray's show, I interviewed uh, Rudy Giuliani for about, yeah, for about 45 minutes. And we had some great conversation. And what, uh, you know, I, I think in his day, Rudy Giuliani, Giuliani was a great, in his day. great in his mayor. Day. What he did in what he did in what he, yeah. So, uh, you know, but I think, you know, the edges of dull <laughs> to, to say. He followed the money uh, trail. I, well, I don't know if that was it. I think he was just... Uh, he just went down the wrong path. But, you know, when I talked to him, I said, why is it that politicians are held to one standard and we as Americans are held to another? Why is it that Americans don't get away with anything and politicians what get away mean? with everything? Well, and, and it's, it, it happens all the time. Men get away with a lot. No, no it's, we'll it's, 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 get yeah, so, so you look yeah. at it and, you know, the, uh, the, the common a uh, working man or woman in the United States that doesn't have money and they do something wrong. I mean, it's books thrown at them. They don't have the money to buy out it to get the good lawyers like, you know, Ken Olson, Derry. right? Or Derry <laughs> Rundle, right? So, you know, that's that's the truth. They can't afford it. So they can't afford a defense. They get a PD. And it, what and what do they end up? They end up in jail, criminal record in most places. If you had the money, it would be washed away. Hell, O.J. Simpson got away with murder. All right. I, and I, we interviewed uh, F. Lee Bailey, which, uh, thanks who, to Rob. Who has an entirely different point of view. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, I think O.J. was good. I, I know. I, we had him on uh, and I talked and he swears up and down that O.J. Simpson I, did. And, and but my, my point is, is that, case. you know, like it, there seems to be two standards here in the United States of America. Right. I grew well, up, what's right is right, and what's wrong Don, is wrong. Can I just say, if you say well, that, wrong is that left, Donald I mean, Trump I, has gotten away with, in his business world, has gotten away with murder. He's avoided taxes, he's inflated the value uh, like, of, his, of his property. You don't like the law, tax. you don't like the tax law change. Like, no, it's fraud, right. that's fraud. It's not like, fraud. Doesn't that indicate right. on the, uh, 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 well, uh, brilliance on his path that he's been able to take well, over the city? That's what he's debate against Hillary. Yeah, yeah. you don't like it, change the law. When you got a $700 million tax rebate? So he got a refund of seven hundred million. Well, yeah, so I what? That if you could take you. it, if you had the ability to do it, would you do it? What? By lying? No, 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 no. Did you? No, I'm he not saying that. You, you don't he know that it? he lied. You're yes, assuming. You see, this I is what you're. No, no. This is where we, you go. We know by looking. Uh, if you look at the tax returns, we no. know now that he inflated the values of the properties to borrow money, and he deflated the prices when he sold it. That's what he did. But That's you don't hear any anything coming out about tax returns. Don't we all do that? We will. Oh, so other. Uh, no, the, uh, it's got it, yeah. Kid, the issue, no. the issue is the, the New York indictments, okay? Yeah, yeah. That, that was Stay the I would not have done it. I mean, okay. Look, I understand. Mm. See, I, I think it's the weakest of all the things. I, I don't disagree with that. And, and my pride, it's not going to matter because it's not going to happen before the election. And you're going to have Georgia come out. Why Georgia's waiting till the end of summer to come out with their I, indictments? I beyond that okay, I can. I'm going I'm to jump right ahead. <clears throat> We're two attorneys. <clears throat> uh, uh, my partner Bill Charles agrees with me. Uh, Donald Trump, no matter what the charges, anywhere, anyhow, jaywalking in Kansas, whatever, will not serve one day in jail. No, he'll really. die before that. 
I agree. Yeah. There's all appeals and all that stuff. Do, do you years. agree, David? That, that, that you don't. You don't. By the way, you, you Trump supporters, mm. uh, you don't fear that something bad is going to happen to him, like go to jail or whatever. No, that's not going to happen. No, it, well, right now it's playing to his advantage. He's yeah, yes. at, he's a million bucks a day. Oh my God, his fundraising is out. Oh, as yeah. the off the charts, yeah. and it's America David, speaking. David, so, are, do we have America a representative speaking. republic or not? Eighty percent no. of America so, yeah. speaking. But people, we have a representative republican. We're not, this is not a democracy. So let's make it clear. This government's supposed to do what we want. And if people are giving him money, they want him for a reason. They feel like okay. he represents them and, what is and their reason? thoughts. Whatever it is. But is Whatever is, their reason is. is. Isn't it is ironic? It financial? Well, the, the, the things that you like about him so much hmm. when he gets to be president, is it foreign policy? Is it economic? What is it primarily that he well, does, you, you does so well? Just keep going. Because, you know, foreign policy, we, he, he, he did. Everybody he, hates he, us. When uh, he was president, that, everybody hated no, him. Come on. He, he hated us. He should have gotten no Nobel Peace Prize for for the accord. Oh, he didn't. He didn't get that. NATO. We gave we gave Barack we gave now? we gave Barack Hussein Obama a, a, a Nobel Peace Prize ridiculous. for nothing. I mean, I he did, did nothing. Ridiculous. And so Trump gets the accord in place and brings what peace. Accord. To, what accord? Uh, the um, what the hell was it? I forget Middle the name. East accord. The, the, uh, All he did was move the embassy to Tel Aviv. No, no, he moved the embassy Jerusalem. to Tel Aviv. All right, and I forget that I, 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 I'm drawing a blank. I don't know why. But on the, he, he brought these people together and they signed a treaty. I forget what that is called. I don't called. think there's anything he's no, done. No, he did. He and wanted to get out of NATO, which would have been the end of Ukraine had he succeeded in that. Well, Every country in the world breathed a sigh of relief when he was not elected president. Well, I, I don't and know that that's true. We didn't have, we didn't have uh, all these countries saying they're going to abandon the dollar. All right, the dollar was stronger. And our our economy was policy. stronger. Our gas prices were What's half Bill the Clinton's price. The our, I Bill mean, the last one who but the see, budget. why do you want to ignore the Clinton. facts? Because that's what bothers me. Here's the I, problem: we got to have one yeah. person talking at a the time. The president yeah. is president. Good luck way with that. Too, a lawyer. The president, <laughs> the president gets way too much credit when the economy's good. Yeah. Way too much blame when the economy's yeah. bad. Right. Let's give me an example. George W. Bush was not at. The, Bill Clinton was the cause of the mortgage meltdown in 2007 and 2008. Absolutely. That was yeah. not George W. Bush. Who got blamed for it? George, George w. Bush. w. Bush. And, and the point is this. Presidents have very little to do with the success or failure of the economy. They really do. I Donald agree. Trump did not make the economy uh, strong. I don't agree. The economy was strong, and Donald Trump was president when that happened. Pure oh, so when he, when he took over, everything was just hunky-dory. It was crashing before. Well, but we, were, we, were, we were energy Obama. independent. And, and, um, You've never been independent. We were energy never. independent. Never. We're producing Never. more oil than we are Never. today. Never. Right? And then uh, Biden turns around and says, well, the oil companies, they, they won't produce. Well, they won't produce because he won't. They won't. He won't. They they're won't. scared to invest the money. They won't produce because they won't produce because it, because it's, it's a pendulum. Because, right? because, they, because the market's And whoever's there. president, and it chops the head off of whoever they want. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. Rob, um, go yes, ahead. Yes, sir. No. no. I mean, this this uh, this is good. This is uh, yeah. This is well. This, how, about, this this is, is how about Fox? Uh, why did Fox pay seven hundred fifty-six million? They 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 lied. They were. Thank they, you. They, you mean? Right? But they never admitted it. They, they didn't have to. But that was the deal. That. They made the deal. This is what I'm saying. This goes back what to their being lied. Well, well obviously they, they must have. The no one's going to spend three quarters of a billion that, dollars. Dave? How do you feel about that, Dave? I I watch news. I don't believe anything I hear, and I believe half of what I see. Well, my my niece constantly talks about fake news, fake news on NBC. I never heard NBC pay any settlements to anybody or CBS. Well, I'll uh, give you an example, Derek. Yeah, go ahead. The night Trump won in 2016, I rented a, a room at the Regency, and we had a few hundred people there. We had a, celebrate, a victory party. Everyone, no one thought he was going to win. I knew he was going to win. So we had the party, and we had four TVs there. And we had MSNBC, CNN, Fox, and one other one, right? And so it was funny, because here, Fox is reporting that he won, and MSNBC had him at 205. CNN had him at 215. Right, and they would not call the states. And the and, states were very uh, close. It doesn't matter. They, it was called. They knew. They knew. No, it. They, they had. The, they that, had the results. Even in 2020, and they waited the last minute. To why call. would they do that? Because and then they sit there and cry and they and start throwing four letter expletives out on, who did on that? national wait, wait, who TV. Did that? But, but who, wait, wait, wait. Who, who did exactly? that? Who, that wait, guy, did I, that? I forget his name. It's a guy, I, I can see his face. I remember seeing his face. On CNN? No. It was only, it might have been on MSNBC. On national TV? On he national threw out TV. Four yep. letter. Yep. 
Yeah. Well, I must have missed I, that. I, I missed I'll, I'll, I'll pull the I will, Please. Yeah, we'll but, pull the but clip anyway, the office. But, but, but the bottom line is, but, yeah. but, 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 but we agree mm-hmm. that paying seven hundred fifty-six million, just like with the Michael Jackson lawsuits, uh, he pays twenty-seven million to, to some kid that made it up. The other thing is, uh, yeah, I, I, you don't write that kind of money if you didn't well, do anything wrong. I, I still wonder how uh, Stormy and this uh, Playboy model had the audacity to uh, extort money from the most powerful man in the world. Uh, uh, that's another story. But Fox. Well, what, but, but you, why are you faulting Stormy Daniels? I'm not. I'm not faulting her at all. I'm just saying that the she audacity. That, that, that what do she, you mean? That an ordinary person wouldn't say. I think I'm just yeah. gonna, uh, extort an, money. An ordinary but, person but, is not a, a uh, point star. Moving on Let's to Fox. Be, yeah. Moving on to Fox. Not that there's anything yeah. wrong with that. that, that, that will Fox, uh, does Fox agree that they, uh, by, by paying that, did, did they admit, to, at least to you they did? We, haven't they, know, we don't know what the terms well, are I, of that I've settlement. I've sat there and had conference with them, but I can tell you that they don't write that kind of check unless they know they did something wrong. Fox okay? News did issue a, of a billion Fox dollars. issued yeah. a statement that said that they, that they lied in effect. What they didn't do is make the on-air personalities admit that they had lied on air. You, Ken, do you think that's why Tucker just got, got the axe? I, I, think, I think Tucker was one of the fall guys for Fox. And frankly, I'm not, I mean, it's, I've got to give Fox credit. He's got a, a 2.4 million, a million person audience. I mean, yes. it's incredible. It's I have other faults with, yeah. I have other faults with Tucker Carlson because I think he's homophobic. I think he's uh, uh, Supreme, racist. White supremacist. I think he's got white supremacist. He always spoke highly of you, Ken. Thank you. <laughs> but, but when you look at it, you've got uh, Sean Hannity was no better. And yeah, I mean, I mean, you think about somebody who's really conservative, Ann Coulter, who actually was an anti-Trumper for for a while. I mean, there was a conservative who called it like it was. Besides Cheney, Liz Cheney, Cheney, Cheney who, who should hero. be a national hero, by the way. The bottom line is, that I'm, you know, it's a surprise to me why Tucker Carlson got the boot. I think he's a fall guy, and I think there were some other issues about him that led to it, but I don't know why he's the one. I think there'll be some of the people leaving. I, I, and I choose not to speculate on that, honestly. Oh, you do, really? Yeah. Dave, yeah, let me, I, I, let me I ask you a question. I don't think we have the evidence. No, we uh, don't. Anything. But we'll, so, what again, we, it's speculation. And David. That's, that's what ruins But we have his emails. We have his emails. Yeah, let's have, talk about that. What, what I was going to say is uh, Tucker Carlson's on record, uh, among others, disparaging Donald Trump uh, with passion, despising him. Yeah. And yet, at the same time, they go on, they go on air. Uh, extolling his virtues. I mean, how do you reconcile that? I mean, do you... Do you well, did you see his interview of Trump, with, with Trump? It was a great interview. I mean, he asked him the questions, you know, hard questions, and Trump I, answered them. I, I, I don't think he asked the very hard questions. Dave, I, I, it was a good interview. In my you, you have yeah. the tapes, you have uh, the emails and the texts of these uh, Fox commentators who just say one thing Trump. on air and another. Right. They want to and be talk the about the election. They're entitled the to their opinion. That was stolen is bullshit. Yeah, but if you if you can pretend <laughs> pretend you're a journalist. No, wait, wait. Yeah. Just they are they, pretend they, journalists. No, 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 no. They're not journalists. They're well, commentators. They they're, they're, no, they're commentators. Like, like and they're scripts. They, comment, they're, commentators yeah. should be telling the truth. Well, well, yeah, exactly. Then to yeah, tell the people that they work for not to write the script the way it is, because all they are, in my opinion, is parrots. The reason why they are they're great at orating whatever's on that screen because I think what's I think what's happened because of the the settlement I think Fox News is going to exercise more control over the content and Tucker Carlson does not want anyone to exercise content his content because and I think it's all a matter of they're going to put some restrictions on him and he doesn't need it he can go anywhere I mean really he signed off on Friday so he was going to be on yesterday so he had no intention so something happened over the weekend we don't know what it is yeah it was the last one and and look I've heard all kinds of things I'm sure everyone in this room has but uh, do I believe any of it? Yeah, like I said, I believe none of what I hear and half of what I see. Dave, you, you and Ray have uh, host a show, radio show. It's a Ray Richardson uh, show. The Ray, Ray Richardson, Richardson show. show. Who's my partner? I'm so you had, you had uh, Sean Spicer on your show uh, this morning. Yeah. Did you talk at all about the Tucker? Uh, yeah, we talked. We talked what, what's on his, uh, I mean, he's an inside guy. Well, he went, he's, he's known Tucker since high school. Uh, okay. So it's not just a. Was well, he shocked? Uh, we didn't ask if he was shocked. But he did say, if you think this is the last you're going to hear from Tucker Carlson, you got another thing coming. Well, All right, and right. I agree. Enormously like, what will happen? To, what would Dave? Is, he, is someone else to pick him up? Someone else? If I were Tucker Carlson, I'd start with him network. I mean, well, there is some rumors going really? around actually that Bill Riley and Tucker Carlson are thinking about wow. starting a. You know, by Newsmax, by uh, the O'Reilly Col- Carlson report taken right after me. Yeah, yeah, I know. What's with that? <laughs> but I mean, you know, there's, there's, you know, in my mind, uh, there's definitely room for a new network. 
Uh, you know, I, I watch the other ones, all right, as painstakingly. But, and, but I do, you know, the only th show I would watch anymore really is Tucker because he, he takes Insane. on the tough, tough. You know, he's a liar. I, well, you, he, 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 he lies. He clearly lies. This is why America is, America is so divided. Is because that's all Wait, we want to no do is, is call people names. Oh, Instead hold on a second, of, hold on a look, what's, what's the root when of the problem? At, when you look at, you said you, the only thing you watch is Tucker Carlson. You said that. But John, I, response, I'll take the time. Wait, to, I don't watch TV. My, here's my response. Right, so that. get that. Here's a guy who, right. as Rob said, wrote emails saying, I hate this guy, I can't, I don't think I can take another minute of this guy, mm -hmm. and then goes on the air extolling his virtues. Right. That's, so if you're watching a commentator who's, who you know is lying to you, why are you watching him? Well, you can't believe a word he says. He's a can liar. you believe the words that any of them say? Some, I can, yes. some commentators I can. Who? who? Tell me one you can really trust. Not, I wouldn't trust Don Lemon, but... Yeah, oh, he's no. gone. No, he's right. gone. But, I, he's but gone. really, you there's nobody Anderson I would Cooper? trust. Anderson Cooper, I would trust. I think Anderson Cooper is a stand up guy. Well, he's not a political commentator. I wouldn't no, trust but him. No, I, but, I, but I, uh, I watch uh, MSNBC. I watch CNN. I, I used to watch Fox. My brother, John, watches Fox. His, I said, why, why John? Because he wants to hear the other side. Sure. I, I used try. to listen to Rush Limbaugh all the Kenny, time. Kenny, I try to watch Fox. I can't. When, when they focus on Hunter Biden's laptop, when they focus on all of these... I mean, those things crap, don't matter, right? They, they not, don't matter not because when he's, there not are more he's not the president. He's not the president. Hunter Biden is not the president of the United he's States. Not. Uh -oh. He's so, not. But and his father guilty, enabled him. Guilty. His father then investigate his conspired father. with him. Don't investigate him. Right? And, the, and the laptop's the key to it. So I guess it really doesn't matter. It's Hunter yeah, but, Biden's you know, the big David, guy. If the David, big guy's there, you know, who cares? David, what concerns me is when they go back. By the way, I have to say... Oh, Christ, they went back to Kavanaugh's 15th birthday. Well, when he... Right, when he's but, running but, for but, Supreme and, Court and, and justice, I, right? By the way, I didn't like the Kavanaugh thing, and they were yeah. going back to high school, whatever. Uh, I, I will say that uh, that's why... I the, think that was college. The, the, the uh, stormy uh, thing, bringing that up. But, but I want to focus on what I consider one of, the, one of the most important issues for this president, and that's the U Ukraine, those poor Ukrainian people, those innocent people that are mm -hmm. being killed. Please tell me what Trump, Trump would do. Trump would not have gone into Ukraine. Well, number one, it wouldn't have happened if Trump was but, president. How would he have stopped it? Happened? It would not have happened. There was but a mutual what, what respect what, there between what him. What would he do? Yeah. Mutual respect. He's, he's sleeping in bed with Putin. I agree with that. Yeah, so look, you can see I this can't is what. Wait to see the pictures they have. All you're doing is you're not you're not resolving. What will he do to resolve it? What will Trump do to resolve it? One, look, Trump's Trump's foreign policy worked. You know, he brought peace to the Middle East. He moved the embassy in Tel Aviv. Yo, come on, please. come on now. See, I got a call. He's all right. How did he bring I, peace to the Middle East? How did he do that? I forget that? what that accord. I'll, I'll, somebody should Google it for me. Anyway, but, you know, <laughs> I, I forget you the name. You said it, my friend. Yeah. How did he bring the, I, the Palestinians yeah. and the Israelis have been at war since 1967. Are they at war now? He, Yes. yes. All right, they are. They're bombing yeah. bomb yes. shoot over every day. Yes. Every day, and people are dying every yes. day in Palestine. Well, last week, they just had... Generations. They just had day, yeah. Well, that's I been mean, going on for 5,000 years. Well, yeah. That's right. happened during Donald Trump's presidency. Ukraine is today. So what, you what, ask, what will he do I, about I, I'm not for sending money to Ukraine. All right? I'm not for having... A, Trump's the only president that didn't get us in another war. Now, you're going to take that away from him, too? He did, get he did not. War. He's the only president in the, that never got us involved in another war. This guy, Biden, Why right now, Obama we're looking Obama got involved at, in a war, did he? <laughs> no. He was in office for eight years. No, no, no. no Big I, deal. No, the, Trump's policy, his foreign policy, was stellar in my book. No, it's he had respect. America first. I, got I, 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 I love the United States of America. I'm a red we blooded. All, Dave, we all right? do. Okay, yeah. then, then let's work to fix it and make sure that we not be we, friends we, with a foreign country? Should we not be no, friends I, I, with France no, and Germany? And we shouldn't be spending money on a foreign country. So we shut down NATO? When we, hold on. When we have people in the United States that are starving to death, can't put oil in their car. Oh, we spend way too much money on welfare. Let's not go there, my friend. Can't put gas in their car. Can't, you know, like, the bottom Bottom line is, is if we invest in our own country, you know, like I, I sell real estate, so people buy ramshackle shacks, and then they re there's two types, two types of investors. One bleeds it for all the money they can get out of it, and the other one reinvests into That's the property. My but the one that reinvests has long-term, you know, gain. He he's right. he ends up with a nicer property. What does that have to do with and Ukraine? It, it has to do with investing in the United States. So we should just live in Russia and Ukraine. No, you you, you, you it, peace through force is the way it's you well, know well, through strength. It's the, the only the way. Well, I, I don't want boots on the ground. I don't want American soldiers in Ukraine. I don't want money 
sent to so Ukraine. Let me say this. Oh, no. Listen, no, wait, no, you're going to let me. No, you got it. Let me finish it. Yeah, let him finish. I have a friend, and I won't say his name, who's very good friends with uh, the administration in Ukraine. All right, there was 120 some billion dollars, right, that they said they gave to Ukraine. Well, let me tell you, you know how much that money actually reached Ukraine? You're saying yeah, that Zelensky is corrupt? No. no it's not getting there. Where's it going? Where's the money's going? not getting It's going into all the hacks that are getting fed money. All, I'm telling you, I, they're not I, seeing I, it. He said I, maybe. I question that. Okay, no, well, I don't. I I, and I know my friend is 100%. Here's my question. Here's my question. Maybe 25 billion of the 120 billion. All right, let, let's then, Here's my question to you, because the first thing you said was it would have never happened. It would have. You're claiming that Putin would not have tried to annex Ukraine. And what he said was very clearly, I want to restore the Soviet Union to its greatness. I'm going to go after countries that used to be part of the Soviet Union, I'm a start right. with Ukraine, and he wanted access to the Black Sea. And okay? he didn't want NATO on his border. That, and why, uh, that's right, he thought Ukraine was Now he takes over NATO. Ukraine. Wait, hold well, on. What's next to Ukraine? He's gonna, well, hold on. He Poland, has, right? But, but, oh, aren't Poland's they in NATO? Next. They're next, but he didn't want, no, that's and all started because Finland Ukraine was gonna join NATO. That's why this happened. How would Donald Trump have prevented that from happening? Putin would have backed off because Do the great Donald Trump was no, president? No, it would have been a red carpet for him. Absolutely, he would have known Ukraine Donald Trump would have done nothing to stop that. Right. I, 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 he would have I, waltzed into Ukraine. Well, uh, what David, about Crimea? Crimea? Uh, so David, can, can yeah. we agree that, I, you say you don't want us to send money, but can no. we agree that the president who is elected should do something about this Ukraine thing? Something about it, maybe? No, not no. so much. So we got Americans here that need help. We have people in the United States of America. And if we spend it on we, we have to invest they're in our country. Too much money we have to invest in our own country, in our own infrastructure, in our own bridges, yeah. right? Yeah. We, We're not going to use that money for poor people in the United States. That, and why is that, The antithesis of Republican philosophy is the we have people storming the United States. Uh, wait, if you save well, the well, money well, what's the Ukraine, antithesis of Republican philosophy? That, they, that we don't invest in our country? Smaller government. Amen. You don't give money to welfare? No, no, we don't expand welfare. No, I, a hand up, not a hand out. Right, I, so that's you're not my think, motto. You're not take care of poor people. Right? That's not what the Republicans do. Uh, poor people can Give take care job. of themselves. Do you need to take care of them? Uh, some people need Why? Some, some people, some some people do. Uh, yeah. I'll admit there is a small yeah. portion of our population. People, I just wrote you say small. Here's, a, big, now here's a, a point right here. Yeah. You're saying that a small number of people in the United States actually need uh, gifts and so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah, there are the people that are be challenged, you know, disabled. Well, I want to take care of them. But if you, if, if, if the Americans historically want to work, they want to work. Yeah, and we've sure. taken that away from now. And it's uh, like, you know, it's how, do you, how do you catch a wild pig? You put up one side of a fence some corn. Next day you put up another side of the fence some corn. The pig comes in. Put up a third side of the fence with some corn. The pig comes in. Oh, put a gate up with the door and throw the corn in there. Well, and then wild pig. Close the, you close. I no, I'm, I'm, close, I'm equating it with did. people. Oh, forget about Ukraine. I'm talking about Americans. If they become dependent on government, all right, then that's where the problem is. And that's that's what they want. And as long as they're dependent on government, in then we set. deteriorate. And I believe that You don't people, believe in what? A welfare set. I no, and I, 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 I don't think believe any of us do. I believe people who get welfare well, then should do stop community things. But, you, but you here, they, here's what I'm it. saying to you. You're saying, let's not give Ukraine money. Let's keep it in the United States and spend it on poor people. That's not going to happen. I didn't say you're spend it on new, poor people. No, tax cuts. I, I, more tax I cuts. I said invest it in the United States. How, but how, how would but you invest More manufacturing jobs. Why are we outsourcing so many things here in the United States. Why do we outsource so because much? Because other countries have slave wages and don't have the... And why are our wages more expensive than their because wages? We, why are they buy, able to buy? we make sure that people are protected, protected. in the world. Protected? Yeah. Oh. Instead of, so they're instead protected of, and starved to death. But that's all right. No, they're no. protected, right? What I'm right? saying is if you're talking about the average American worker, okay, we have minimum wage. China doesn't have a minimum wage. Have okay? you been to China? No. I've been to China a few times. They, I've been in fact. They have a minimum wage. And, and I, I've been, I've literally been Remember all over the world. They have a minimum wage. They, they have a way of doing business that yeah. the people. Slave labor. You want to hear? Yeah. No, it's, see, that's. Uh, it's, it's, you're, you're, uh, how about uh, Thailand? You're not. Right, we're getting away from yeah, because, the, the, because, because we're talking. An hour, and, yeah. uh, and the uh, hour is almost up. Uh, is it really? Jesus. Yeah. Well, Can we go an hour and a half? Well, <laughs> well uh, no, we're, we're coming back. I'll tell you, this is too good. Uh, uh, David, yeah, uh, good. one of the things I wanted to get to, because, you know, this is sort of our show. Yeah. Uh, sort, and of that show. sort of our show. Sort of our show. That would be good. That would be a good tonight, show. Tonight it became your show. show. <laughs> but I want to say 
Uh, I want to get to this issue because it comes right to the heart of me. I have a transgender child, mm. uh, a daughter. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, the LBGTQ yeah. issues are very, very important to me and to many people yeah. that, that have... Uh, wh why is the, present, uh, the president, DeSantis, uh, the, the main Republicans, some of them, why is this LGBTQ issue so big, big to them? Why do they care? We, we, we yeah. thought we moved on that. Can you it's tell us why the Republicans... Question, well, it's not just Republicans, okay? So, I don't 29 know, Democrats, whatever, whoever, the Democrats, 29 percent of the children in Maine that are in high school in the state of Maine are confused yeah. about their gender. Where? 29 percent. Uh, it's a statistic. Wait, wait, I can, wait, wait. We can prove it. So, 29 percent. No, in the state of Maine, there are 1.9 percent of Maine citizens are transgender. That's not what I said. See, you're, you're, well, how do you get the statistic see, of 29 percent are, are confused? Where does that come from? Well, you let me talk. Yeah, go ahead. So, right. I, I want to know where the statistic comes from. So, uh, where does the statistic uh, come from? Don't just throw out a number. It's a, it was a study done in the state of Maine. By whom? I think, I don't, I, I, See, I can I'll, tell I'll you where I got my now. statistics. All right, the bottom line is 29%. You now, don't listen to what I say. Oh listen to what I have to say. This is what they do. Throw out numbers. No. And then people say, oh, 29%. 29% oh, wow. of the children all right, in so high school. Him, yeah, are you listening that, to what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't believe yeah. you because you have no statistics. You can't even let him. Let him. He's using a number without any backup. I can back up mine. There's certain things. Things I remember, but, but, certain but, things I don't. So, so right? what? If I had Ray here, then I but, but, yeah, my, my, So what? What are you? What are they going to do? What, what, what laws are going to be passed? Turn them well, so why people. is it such a big issue? Okay, well, I grew up in New Jersey, and you know we had some people that were gay. We, you know, my niece, I have a gay niece. I have some gay friends, but and the ones I talk to about, it, they they don't feel like it should be an issue. I mean, you want to be who you are, be who you are, so why right? Laws but about why? It? Why do you have to? Why do you have to have things like um, uh, transgenders competing in girls' sports? Why not? Well, they're, so, they're so a guy that's ranked 432 in the country jumps in and says, "All of a sudden, I'm a girl. I'm a girl." He's number one now, and he takes well, it away. Now, your daughter. Do I don't and, care. It and, happened. Let me, let's so, this is that. what they're doing. The so so a but that's the point. Who was Ken, number Ken, one? Please, let David. Oh, he I, asked I, me I a question. Let me, let me just. But he's so, talking about. He's making it up on the fly here, guys. I'm not making it up on the fly. The guy from University of Penn who won all the won the state contest and the Big Ten contest came in last place now. Nationally, so he didn't put anybody out of the award ceremony. Nobody. It was all. A, it was all a facade. It was so all makeup. Your daughter. Let me ask this. Your daughter's all her life trained to be an athlete. She wouldn't care one bit. And, and oh, just let me finish. My care. daughter's no better in her races than she was before. Right. Right. But we. Yeah, so this your is daughter. The guy who, who yeah, can run. All right. Yeah. So you, your daughter trains her entire life to run a be a run a race. But swim she didn't between, change so she right? could run in races. Well, I, I get it. That's, I'm not, the point. I, that's not what I'm saying. No guy becomes well, a woman. I'm trying. See, I love the three D's at one R. But I'm so, not a D. No, he's not a D. Uh, I, I, he's a. I'm an I. I'm I, unregistered. There is no such, but, but, but such David, thing as an I. So that's one point, right. and and the other point, I guess, is education. Mm. We we don't want to discuss it until they're out of, until they're 18. We don't want them hearing about it from teachers. They can't go to their principal and ask or the guidance counselor. Well, it's uh, a dumb uh, job to educate book, our children. My book is banned in Florida. My book is banned. Did you see the books that are in schools today? Yeah, they all will convert people. I mean, people are going to be gay. They're going to. No. No, no, that's not what I become a gay it's a, person. Is, is, is that what we're worried about? Do you want to uh, fire a six year old kid looking at pornography? That's Why don't we just put Playboy books in there? That's not pornography. Why don't, Have you seen a book that a five and a fifth and a five and a six year old? Absolutely. Reads? Absolutely. And it's pornography? It's pornography. What title are you referring it, to, sir? Uh, gender queer. That's, that's not pornography. Have you seen, I've seen that's, that. Yes, I am. Oh, not a, that's not, not pornography. It's absolutely not pornography. Really? That's why Anna. So are you going to read that? No, are you going to read that book to your grandson? Absolutely. You would read that. Read that book to your grandson. Absolutely. Let me let me oh cut way God. ahead. Uh, right. uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, calls no, Democrats not, pedophiles. You don't go that far, do you? That, 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 no. That people that are, that, that no. a lot. There are some Democrats. My, my are daughter, when she went through this, some independents uh, that run for governor uh, are pedophiles. Right. Uh, right. I would be very offended if uh, Mary Marjorie Taylor Greene would say I'm a pedophile because I supported my daughter when Why she was would you 40 years old and wanted to change. No, you don't agree that we're pedophiles. No. Okay, thank Absolutely you. Absolutely not. Yeah. Right. Why would I? But look, I, they, let me well, ask my, this my, question. What I, in life, I get up and I go to the show. I with like Ray you, because I, like I care about people. I'm not so far and I want to see us 
find a way, and Rob talk, and I talk about this all the time, we do. that we can come together, all right? And not have these- Just like the Beatles. Throw, just throwing the stuff together. <laughs> they, we throw stuff out all the time, yeah. and it, all it does is ignite like the fire. I just want to find common ground. I want to go back to the days when we had Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill, you know, relationship. Uh, Mitchell, right? Mitchell and Dole. And, what and, we got? and Tom Daschle hugging George Bush on the Senate floor. And I mean, there, why can't we just do that and, and put, because, you know, be, you know and Reagan, it's a new day right? because Reagan, that won't no, happen. No, see, it doesn't, no, you see that, you're accepting. We're not going back not, there. You know, it, Reagan said if there's anyone who agrees with me 80% of the time is not my enemy 20% of the time. And that's really what it's all well, about. We so we let say, these stupid, agree with these you. stupid issues that are divisionary issues but get in the way come, of where, good decision making. Where, David, where does it come from? It can't, I think it started. Well, I think it started before Donald Trump came down the escalator at Trump Tower, mm. bashing the Mexican, uh, the Mexicans, and and proposing a wall that Mexico was going to pay for to 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 just wall the United States off from uh, from these brown-skinned immigrants who were. Well, how many I friends do you have that died from fentanyl? Uh, I've known a few. Uh, mm. people you know how I much know, that comes I've, in? I've had three. I've had three nephews die. It doesn't they, come right? in over the border. That's not how they come. Oh, really? What's the flying in? Think, on a, yes, uh, and stork? by boats and by it doesn't uh -huh. come in. You know, most illegal aliens are here because they uh -huh. got in legally on a green card and didn't mm. return. So when afterwards. they when they capture the, uh, the the immigrants coming into the country with pounds of fentanyl, you know, or balloons Compared inside the their belly. Some people are I mean, looking for you, you know how much fentanyl it takes to kill a person? You can make Nothing, fentanyl bad. Right? Like yeah, it's like, like, it's, in, it's insane. That's not, so, that's well, not where all the fentanyl's coming That wall, I, I truly believe it, that the wall, wall is going to... Uh, I think it's a, a huge, I think it would have been a huge benefit. You're absolutely wrong. No. That's well, not have you been fentanyl, down there? There's not where How about you and I go down there and look at it? Dave, the statistics, it's so good, it's statistics, show that the influx of drugs does not come in over the border. Statistics doesn't come in over the Who border. Who prepared the statistics? The the, the, the drug enforcement agency oh, is, is where that, I got yeah. my statistics. Where would you get yours? Uh. <laughs> and they'll tell you that first of all, most illegal aliens in the country uh. got here legally on a green card and haven't left. That is something like nine percent uh, yeah. of illegal aliens. That's, yeah. And that's the drug not, influx, not, yeah. the drugs yeah. come in from airplanes, not. from boats. They don't come. <laughs> the people coming over the border looking for asylum aren't bringing fentanyl with them. Mm. So my, a truck's not gonna I, stop my anybody. point was, my point was, you were talking about the kum, uh, kumbaya moments, yeah. come together, yeah. all for that. Why don't we have it today? And I think the the rhetoric and the hate and the uh, uh, that comes uh, that's that's being spewed out of the mouths of Donald Trump, all the way down to Marjorie Taylor Greens and and they Jim made Jordan. It worse. But it's I think it's with worse. Obama getting elected. It's made it worse. It's it started with Obama. You're right. It's with know, Obama. The, 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 the Beer mega game. crowd are, are the, I think, in their vision, they're threatened by, by uh, brown skinned people. They're threatened by Who is? new immigrants coming into MAGA. the. A lot of them. Mega. There we go. The mega. White, Our president white said mega. <laughs> white Christian supremacists <sighs> want to see this country become like them. They want like it this, used to be. Like it used to be back in the 50s. When, when blacks and women knew their place. Yeah. Oh, so is that what you and, think and the I Republican think mantra is? Uh, uh, David, I think that's I think where so. the Republican I think Party the people, is I think at. Trump I, I don't know a single Republican, and I know a lot of Republicans. A lot of them, you know. And, and, and I don't know anyone I've ever heard that say that I would consider racist. Did you hear what Donald Trump said on the famous bus about women, how he treats women? Why are you women? bouncing around? Because Every time I get on the topic, you got to bounce off. Because I said Republicans. Uh, 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 Donald Trump has no, set an example see, you're of just sexism. Trying to, you, you see, everyone no. the world's coming to an end because it's Donald J. Trump. I think the world's Trump coming to the end, well, to an end, as we know it, because uh, oh, we have lost our way as a country. We have lost our way. We've grown to G-O-V well, and not G-O-D. The bottom line is there's no religion in our God. homes. God? You think God, you, more right. people have died in the name of God than it's any other It's always been the source That's of all God wars. Is not if the you read any history here. book, no, good moral behavior um, is. But, Behavior uh, is. But, but religion is not. Religion is an indoctrination. Okay. No different than Republicans and Democrats. Gentlemen, have an indoctrination. We only have five right. minutes. And I, 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 I wanted, uh, uh, wanted to say this because I want my, our uh, public to know this. To, to the um, Democrats that are anti-Trump, I say to them, you know, back off. Every time you go after him, every time you get upset, he makes more money. So what if what if you just back off for a while and stop hating him Be so much? Because still news. That's yeah. number number two. And for the for the uh, Trump people, I say to you, why worry? 
Nothing's happened to him. Uh, some of my friends get so upset. Oh, he lived in New York. I say to them, he, 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 he uh, has enough trouble going to the restroom every day. He's 77 years old to eat. It takes more time. To, I'm 77. It takes more time to just live, just to play golf. I don't think Trump sits up all day long. So I say to both sides, let it, let him, let, let the. But we're talking speak. about Trump for an hour, so you're part of the problem, Derek. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and because what I'm saying is, uh, to any Trumpers, relax, relax. If 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 he's supposed to go down, he'll go down. They'll, Hitler went down. I, I've said this before, yeah, and I'll ahead, say it yeah. again. <laughs> if like Donald J. Thing. Trump committed a crime, then he should be held accountable like any other American should. Thank you. Period. Thank you. All right. But I do not like the persecution. I do not persecution. like the surveillance. I do not. The, I don't like the, our, 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 our agencies being used and weaponized against individuals. What I don't been weaponized? Hey, look, the, I, me, it's been. You want to ignore the fact that the, that they surveilled Donald what? Trump. You want to ignore that the dossier was created that by Hillary wasn't Trump. The government. You want to ignore that was a that, what yeah, agency? Yeah, this what? is the problem. I'm calling him on what he's saying. I know, he says right. agencies. FBI. What agency? The FBI surveilled yep. Donald Trump through yes. a lawful, through a lawful. Prior to, and oh, and what? Wait, 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 did you read the warrant? Did you read the warrant? A judge did you read the signed warrant? the warrant. It was legal. No, who Legend else signed the warrant? What do you mean, who else signed uh, under, the warrant? Under 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 perjury, they said well, they, they they signed that warrant and they lied. All right, so uh, so go, go after that person, but that, well, don't, blame the, said, don't blame. Don't blame. A lot of people get saying. warrants and Jesus. they'll the judge. Blah 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 blah. Uh, David, David, do, do you trust the, 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 the judiciary in this country to I deal with these you. issues? That's a good question. What? What's that? You don't, don't have. have like, you don't. Like after the Texas judge did the anti-abortion yeah. pill, and, and that's a whole other issue. Yeah, which we didn't get to. But we're going to. By the way, we're going to do this again because you guys are too much fun. Yeah, I definitely. I think we should have our own show. Why are we coming on this show? Listen. I can do it, and they won't interrupt us all the Derry, time. Derry, uh, as we go through the uh, the upcoming election, oh, I think yeah. it'd be great to bring yeah. you guys back. Yeah. Well, I, look, I enjoyed it, you know, and I I brought you guys uh, a little present. I, thought I can't wait. What is it? All right. Right here. Make America right, great. Again. I, I'll give Trump. you one at the office. Trump. Yeah. Right. Thank you. <laughs> you give me right. one at the I'll office. I'll be taking oh, in the trash when I get home. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, one of my <laughs> friends. <laughs> one of my Thank friends you. gave me a Donald Trump coin. Yeah. Uh, and he since passed away. And when, when he gave it to me, I told him, I said, I will cherish this, hmm. and I will list. Did you buy a Trump steak? Uh, no, no, but I will tell you, Dave and I agreed upon this. When he came down the escalator, I turned to Marilyn and said, he's going to be the president. And I said the Amen. same thing to Week Martindale yeah. and Sandy Martindale, huge Trump supporters, by the way. And they love me for that comment. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've got to tell you how uh, pleased I am to have uh, Rob uh, with me again. And, and, and you two have been too much fun. You guys uh, are Rob, uh, the final word about where you think we're going to go in the future. Tell us about Gianni Russo. Yeah, we've got Gianni Russo. Coming who we back. interviewed uh, the Hollywood Godfather is coming back uh, in July. We're going to have uh, right. a full hour with him. And I know you and Ray are going to be having him on yeah, your he'll radio be on the show. show as well. You are? Yep. Yeah, yep. good. Yep. That's right. Wonderful and man. Kenny, talk a little bit about your podcast. News to me. It's News to Me podcast. Good. Just put my name, Ken Altschuler. It's hard to I'm spell. popping up. But it's News to Me podcast, Apple podcast. It's I do it weekly. I drop it on Sunday, 15 minutes. I don't want to bore and, people. And much. for the best real estate guy around, David Jones, F.O. Bailey. And um, I do right with Ray Richardson. We do Polico Brew every three weeks on WCSH. And tonight. you and Ray on I WLOB. Do show, I do the show with him on Tuesdays and Wednesdays morning. It's uh, from six to nine. I stay here sometimes six to ten. Well, you know, and it's all four hours. Discussion. David, David, David you're fast. David, you are a wonderful guy, and my friend Ken, you're over the top. I love you. <laughs> Uh, 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 folks, uh, uh, we're hoping on uh, in May. Uh, the, the temptations are coming to Portland. I have a friend that knows him very well. I'm hoping to have at least one of the temptations on this show. Uh, Rob and I are going to go to the concert and see the temptations of the Four Tops. And we're hoping the next show will be a little lighter than this one. There will be no controversy. It will be the temptations. We'll be, we'll be bringing you back. Oh, yeah. Anytime. We'll be bringing you back. And uh, thanks uh, uh, so much for watching the Run Baldacci Report. Thank, Thank you. you. All the time.